the Bellavie's Launch Mission is probably about 10 hours across by bus. It's, it's condensed since I was there. It's split off into a couple different missions. Um, when I was there, it was probably 14 hours from top to bottom. Um, and it, cover, it covers most of the state of Minas Gerais, um, which is a, a pretty large state that nobody's ever actually heard of until they go to Brazil. Um, but, and it's right above Sao Paulo. So you're about nine hours north of Sao Paulo. Everybody in your mission will attend the temple in Sao Paulo um, or in Campinas. Both of which are, you know, nine hours apart. But but uh, people in Minas Gerais are in the they're in the Campinas uh, Temple District. Um, so I was not able to go to the temple on my mission because it's outside the mission boundaries. And anybody going to Bellavista Lounge probably will not as well. Um, so just get used to two years without going to the temple. Uh, that that wasn't really a detriment to you to any to missionaries, simply because the Lord blesses missionaries and I'm sure that the Lord will compensate um, missionaries for their lack of ability to attend the temple during that time. Um, let's see, Minas Gerais is, is known for its pão de queijo, which interpreted means cheese bread. It's, the, it's where cheese bread came from. I don't know if anybody's ever been to Tucano's, but there's, they have some pretty good cheese bread there. So about 20 years ago, there were a couple missionaries um, that in the southeast of Minas Gerais, um, in a small, very Catholic town, that decided that one day they just got so fed up with people that were rejecting them, and they kicked a statue in the town, and it broke. They broke a statue, and the town went nuts. Literally, they, they, the missionaries had to be pulled out, and every member of the church in that city had to either leave the church or move out of the city. Um, and so I would strongly advise against doing stupid things as missionary because you are representing the church and you're representing all other missionaries and your actions might have long lasting consequences. All those members in that city could no longer go to church. Either they had to move, pick up and relocate if they wanted to stay members of the church, or they just had to abandon the church. Um, and so that was a very, it's a very serious problem. And because the, 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 the church could not stay there anymore because of the rioting. Um, so please, missionaries, don't be stupid. Remember who you are and that you're representing the Lord and other missionaries.